In lesson 8.1, you saw that not every system of linear equations has one solution. If the two corresponding lines have different slopes, they have one point of intersection and the system will have one solution. A second possibility is that the two lines represented by the system are parallel. These lines never intersect, so there are no sets of coordinates that will satisfy both equations. This type of system does not have a solution. The third possibility is that the two lines representing the system are the same line. Each point on these coincident lines is a solution to the system. This type of system has an infinite number of solutions. Let's look at what happens if we try to solve the second and third types of systems algebraically. In lesson 8.1, we saw that this system had no solution because the two lines were parallel and the y-intercepts were different. Let's try solving this algebraically. The two equations are in the same format, so elimination is a good choice. y minus y is 0y, 12x minus 12x is 0x, and negative 155 minus 180 is negative 335. This simplifies to 0 equals negative 335. This is a false statement because 0 does not equal negative 335. A false statement tells us that the system has no solution. In lesson 8.1, we saw that these two equations were equivalent, so the lines were coincident and there were an infinite number of solutions to this system. Let's try solving this system algebraically. The y is isolated in the second equation, so let's use substitution. Substitute 3x plus 16 for y in the first equation. 16 minus 1 is 15. 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 5 is 15. Both sides of this equation are the same, so it is a true statement. A true statement tells us that the system will have an infinite number of solutions.